Comfort of Quietness, written and read by Julie Harris. He pours fresh water into the tea kettle, lights the burner, puts the kettle on to boil. I take the blue cups out of the cupboard, one at his place, one at mine. We listen in silence, waiting for the familiar sound of whistling. There it is, like always. The water boils. The kettle sings its tune. The much-beloved teapot waits, diffuser filled and fragrant. She used to mimic the kettle. Song of daily routine, she'd say teasingly her musical laughter and golden hair bright against the afternoon shadows. I pour the boiling water into the pot. We wait quietly, remembering. He takes the yellow cup from its place on the treasure shelf, carries it to the table, places it in front of the empty red chair piled with soft golden cushions. My throne, she used to call it, My queen, he used to call her. My mama, I used to whisper. She loved bright colors, parties, crowds of people whirling in dizzying circles. We adored her, but could never please her. We tried our best to change. He planted a garden. I filled vases with hand-picked flowers. I tried singing. He taught himself a few tunes on her piano. She shook her head and looked beyond us, gazing dreamily out the window at the far horizon. There's a world out there, she would say, her voice trailing off. A knock. He opens the door. A neighbor, Anne, whom we barely know. Dark hair, quiet eyes. Church mouse, Mama called her. Come outside, Anne whispers. Dusk lies in dark pockets of cobalt against the blue-gray landscape, which is slowly being transformed by the miracle of the first snowfall. Beautiful is the unmeaning Publican begins to quote one of his favorite poems, then stops. Mama hated introspective poetry, but Anne smiles and finishes the poem. Of silently falling, everywhere snow. Back inside, he gestures to the yellow cup. Would you join Miranda and me for tea? Anne gently carries the yellow cup to the cupboard and exchanges it for a dark blue one, matching ours. I'd like that, she says.